Every Monday, we get an opportunity to visit with Jim Bacon, who is the head of the Jefferson Council and the founder of the um, uh, the founder of of Bacon's Rebellion dot com. And Jim is with us today. And I I had intended to play some sound bites from the woman that you want to talk about here. She's a sexologist uh, at UVA, <laughs> but I don't think I don't. I think Dan, the producer, is saying that we'll break the law if we play any clips from her. So now we, we just have to kind of dance around it. What, what, what are you seeing here, Jim? Uh, hey, good morning, John. Yes, um, Dr. Lannis Avery is a professor at the University of Virginia. And um, we came across her, her website material and uh, started digging and and. and, and, and got these radio interviews or podcast interviews and, and things where she expounded on her philosophy of life. And um, all I can say is that this is a new kind of university professor. This is not the kind of university professor that you and I encountered when we were in college. So uh, she's quite the piece of work. Um, she is um, a large woman, and uh, she's actually surprisingly, for someone who kind of espouses all these extreme uh, uh, kind of woke views and, 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 and plays on victimhood and grievance. She's actually kind of, kind of has this cheerful demeanor. It is kind of interesting to kind of hear her and watch her in action. So, um, you know, she doesn't have these nasty scowls on her face. She's really quite jolly. But her, her, jolly. her viewpoints, I mean, it's like she's just made this, this kind of living kind of doing all these research, she's like uh, grabbed all these these uh, woke ideas or more uh, intersectionalism, intersectionalist oppression and um, kind of racism and sexism and uh, heteronormativity and creates all these kind of, uh, and, and, and she views them through the lens of she, her research, which she's actually got $400,000 in research for the National Health uh, NIH and uh, you see why and, I want to cut off funding for these people because they're throwing yeah. money away on this kind of garbage. It, this it, lady, it, it is amazing. This so, lady is actually a full-time tenured professor at UVA, or is she just visiting? Like you know, we did the uh, we exposed that sex festival at uh, two or three other schools last year. Um, so this this is actually a University of Virginia employee. Yeah, uh, she's. I think she's. A, she's an assistant professor, which means she's on, on the tenure track. Huh. Uh, yeah. So she's not a. She's not tenured yet. Yet. But uh, that's where. That's where she's headed. How many sexologists do they have at the University of Virginia? I, is that is that a very popular uh, degree plan? Uh, my well, my degree is in <laughs> sexology. Well, yeah. Uh, she describes herself as a board certified sexologist. I don't think. That's kind of her official position, I and mean, she's a she's a, she has a dual appointment with the Department of Psychology and the Department of Women, Gender, and Sexuality. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but she's she has this great latitude to go out and explore all these ideas, and uh, her uh, she's particularly interested in in black women and what you know the the. Um, supposed uh, oppression that black men, women like her experience. Well, what would she say, since we can't play her uh, 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 soundbite on here because of the FCC rules, uh, you know, uh, seriously, honestly, what would she identify, since you've watched some of this, as oppression of black women? Um, is it, it, you know, we hear a lot about the um, the medical community not, supposedly not taking the concerns of black women when they come to the hospital seriously. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure that I think that's true, but okay, let's, let's discuss it. What else would be on that list? Well, in terms of health, she's particularly interested in black women's sexual health. And uh, she thinks Is that, that a problem? because they have, <laughs> uh, they, she says that they, they, black women have internalized these uh, societal norms that kind of, uh, uh, make them uh, silence their uh, silence their sexuality. Yeah, and, I saw one uh, comment, Jim, about you know, uh, larger bodies. And hey, lady, I'm with you on that. I'm I'm chunky right now. You know, I'm 240 pounds. 
And in my prime, when everybody was interested in me, I was 199, you know, all muscle with, with, with uh, abs. So, uh, you know, join the club. When you get a little chubbier, you're less physically attractive to people. I don't know. Is that a racist thing or is that just a reality of life thing? I, I think uh, according to intersectional uh, ideology, it's like there's fat prejudice and then there's race prejudice, and then there's prejudice against women. And then you combine all three, and then you've got one of the most oppressed people in the world. I will say that she does not come across as being particularly oppressed. <laughs> she, uh, when you get $400,000 in, 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 in research yeah. grants and have an assistant professorship at UVA, uh, and, uh, and based on um, kind of the word salads that she creates, it's I mean, she's not oppressed. I watched some of it yesterday when you told me you want to talk about this, and I just couldn't. I I felt like I was becoming dumber by the second, so I just stopped. Um, I mean, this the, you know, it's just so weird to me. All of the really high academic standards that you know, University of Virginia used to. Um, hold and you know the heritage of Thomas Jefferson writing the statute for religious freedom here in Virginia and the Declaration of Independence. I, I mean, is this the new norm at UVA? Are there, if we really went through the roster, do they have highbrow, top tier intellectuals in Charlottesville anymore? Is it deteriorated to this all across the? The oh no, of course they still have they still have uh, top tier intellectuals at, at Charlottesville. The, the trick is. Who are the new people being hired? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the old the old regime uh, you, was much more traditional, and even if you didn't agree with them politically, they had high academic standards and uh, were qu- quite you know achieved a high level mm-hmm. of um, achievement. And uh, now it, you, you you get more and more of these people who are hired for their ideological reasons. And so, uh, this the hottest area is this intersectional. Uh, oppression and uh, and you have certain departments uh, like obviously women and uh, gender and sexuality is going to be one of them and um, African American um, uh, studies is going to be another but mm-hmm. also tradition, supposedly traditional areas like sociology and anthropology are becoming more and more this way not everyone is quite as uh, kind of out there in in front with their use of all this language and 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 these just these. these <laughs> this word salad of all these woke terms, uh, but uh, that's kind of the, incre- the, the incoming generation. Again, not everybody, but that's where it's it's how it's seeping in, and we also see it in in the administrative staff. And we're going to be going out and documenting that as well. Yeah. So, like in the department of uh, the department of diversity, equity, and inclusion, you have people who have utilized the same kind of language, the same kind of framework for you know, analyzing everything through the prism of, of, of race, sex, and gender. Yeah. It's, uh, it's an odd place that we're in right now, and I think responsible people are scared of these topics, especially the intersection of, of race and, and sexuality and, and, the, and those issues, and they know they could be fired at any moment. Like, I posted the link to this lady on Facebook 14 hours ago, and I've got 16, com- uh, 16 likes or, you know, em- em- emoticons about it. That's really low compared to most of the things I post. And I think it's because people are scared. And I tell you what, if you don't, if you don't grow up and uh, get a spine here fast and point out what you don't like and what is uh, irresponsible, these people are going to take over the society and you know, take over UVA and then take over society. I appreciate you flagging it for us, Jim. Jim Bacon from Bacon's Rebellion. I appreciate well, it. Well, thanks for putting it out there, John. Yeah. Go check it out. I mean, I can't play it on the radio because we'll get uh, fined by the FCC. But go check it out on my Facebook page, The John Reed Show. I think you're going to be shocked. 849, back with more in a moment on News Radio WRVA.